know, people go to tennis pros because they've developed a system that's not working for them and now they're inefficient and they have to become efficient. Well, it's frustrating and we know that. We know that we have to give you some support while we're working on things. But the problem is that people very often get so frustrated they go back to the old stroke. They just can't handle the frustration. I've said it a thousand times. If the pain you suffer in losing to people you know you should beat is greater than the pain you suffer in making a change in your game and it's painful, then your prognosis is very good. But if the pain you suffer in making a change is greater than the pain you suffer in losing to people, you probably won't change. Only you can make that determination. You have to make that judgment. When you go to a tennis school, they are trying to get you out of all those little adjustments you made. For example, if you're too high on the ball, the racket's coming down and the elbow's going up to make sure that the racket gets underneath the ball. Well, when you do that, now the brain picks it up and says, okay, I've got it, I like it. But now the brain doesn't want to let go. So it's a very frustrating situation. Now the tendency is when you're taking lessons, you get it, you lose it. You'll have it for a moment. And then you lose it right away. Why? Because the brain wants the old motor program. It's more comfortable with it. So you have to be very patient with yourself and pat yourself on the back once in a while for just trying something new. But before you try anything new, a key issue is, does it make sense? Does the pro, does your friend, whoever is helping you, give you the right rationale which will help you understand a particular stroke? So think about it. Get good information, then get out and start to work on it. Run tests because you can run tests on everything that a pro says. And then when you run the test and you like it, now you're going to run into a battle with yourself. Your own brain says, hey, you know, I had this old one and I kind of liked it. Well, don't worry. It'll all come about. In about how long? Well, we find that if you stick with the stroke, you'll have a tendency. You get it, you lose it. But you get it, you lose it. And the time between those two points begins to decrease. And pretty soon, you find out in about eight weeks that you've got the new one. And we find that when you get up to about seven out of 10 doing it the new way, the brain then begins to adapt and adopt that new way and you get some variation of the new one, not of the old one. So be patient.